Good. Okay, so this is an example of a quick hip flexor stretch. We're trying to loosen up the muscles in the front of the hip. For people with most cases of low back pain, this is the most important stretch you can do to release tension in the front of the hip that creates this big arch of compression in the back. So coming onto a half kneeling stance, my knee is going to be underneath my hip. We're going to pay attention to that curve in my low back. All I want to do is rotate around my pelvis and try to flatten out that curve. I'm getting rid of that curve. And you'll know if you've done it right, because immediately you're going to feel a big stretch down the front of the hip, front of the thigh. If I do it really well, not only will I feel a stretch in the front of the hip, but I'll actually feel tension in the back of the hip. Just as if I was trying to flex my bicep, I'll feel kind of a muscle contraction to the back of that glute. So a tall, tall spine, tilt of the pelvis. I'm not trying to shift forward, because shifting forward would make me increase the arch in the back. We're staying tall, tilting the pelvis, big stretch through the front of the hip. If I want to progress that stretch, and this is only for advanced people with no knee pain, I can actually bring myself back to a step or a bench, and I can do what's called a rear foot elevated stretch. I'll bring my heel up, heels touching my butt as I do the same thing. Tilt my pelvis, now I feel a gigantic stretch, even more profound, still feel that contraction from the glute. This would be an advanced version of that first stretch we did. If we're having knee problems, and I don't want to kneel on the ground, I can actually do the same stretch, just in a standing variation. So standing tall, tilting that pelvis, just staying on the ball of my foot of the back leg, I can still feel that big stretch, so I don't necessarily have to kneel all the way to the ground. So that's kind of three progressions for that hip flexor stretch.